Java, a boilerplate-driven language designed for writing verbose, object-oriented, instant legacy code. It came into being thanks to a relentless hype campaign by Sun Microsystems in the middle of the dot-com bubble. It's kind of like the Macaulay Culkin of programming languages. It was originally invented to create a better TV remote. Then it officially launched for public use in 1996, and nobody's bothered to update the website ever since. Regardless, Java has been running on 3 billion devices for the last 25 years, most of which are Blu-ray players. Its motto is Write Once, Run Everywhere which developers know actually means write once, debug everywhere. Remember the Log4j fiasco? You can blame Java for that one. Still, Java has a great mascot, a little one-eyed monster named Duke, and people love to hate it so much that it's inspired an entire class of programming languages designed to make Java better, like Groovy, Clojure, Scala, and Kotlin, just to name a few. Unfortunately, though, there is no cure. Java also inspired JavaScript, a language that has taken developers 25 years to make halfway decent. And one time, Java even tried to steal JavaScript's job with applets on the web. Luckily, applets suck so bad, they made HTML, CSS, and JavaScript look like a good abstraction for building UIs. Now, when your company adopts Java, you'll also want to adopt Oracle Database, so you can spend the next 20 years talking about migrating to Postgres, while paying an ungodly amount of money that will be directly reinvested into these awesome sailing yachts. To get started, set aside a few days to install the JDK, JRE, and JVM on your machine. It's also recommended that you have a vertical monitor to read the error logs that are coming. Now, before writing any code, say this with me. Public static void main string R. Public static void main string args. Now, to say hello world, create a class. Java forces you into object-oriented programming, which means you'll want to read design patterns cover to cover before you go any further. Now it's time for your public static void main string args, and then finally, system.out.println with hello world. As you can see, we get a lot more boilerplate than something like Python, which is a feature and definitely not a fundamental design flaw or anything. You'll want to start by writing one giant bloated class. Then, when your boss complains, break it into a hierarchy of deeply nested subclasses that will make it impossible to refactor. The next step is to rage quit from your job. Life is way too short to be coding in Java, man. And with that, I think I've lost enough subscribers for one video. There are only two kinds of languages, the ones people complain about and the ones nobody uses. Whether you love it or hate it, Java can get stuff done. And for that, it deserves our respect. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.